So this video will just take a quick look at the Baseus, the Baseus, however you can uh, want to pronounce that, 65 watt Gain 3 Pro desktop fast charger. Unfortunately, I could not find the 100 watt version here in Europe because that's really the model that I wanted for. 65 watt is fine enough for the kind of devices I have right now. So this is of course a 4 USB 65 watt charger, so you can charge up to 4 uh, devices at, at the same time. But obviously you can only really charge one device at the full 65 watt bead at a time. So of course the more devices you're charging, the less wattage is going between the devices. So it's 65 watt in total. And of course this is the European version with the European plug. And there's also like I said a 100 watt version of that. But I couldn't find that anywhere in Europe and didn't really want to get it off AliExpress because yeah, then I have to pay, pay to get it imported into my country and so on. And it will get kind of expensive. But anyways, let's just have a look around the side here. A little bit of specifications in different languages. And around the back here, you can see the more common languages. And there's a little sticker on top of the Baseus sticker there. You can see that the little white sticker. So why would they set a white sticker on top of a genuine sticker? Or a little QR code there. I'm not really sure. Maybe they just want to hide that. But it is also a great charger to get for like a Samsung Galaxy Tab. If you have like a Tab S8 or a newer Samsung smartphone that supports 5 45 watt of fast charging. This one does work with those as well. And I also ended up getting a two of these USB cables, USB type C, 100 watt cables, of course, just for charging. And this is the two pack, and this is the two meter or 6.6 .6 feet cables with the metal plugs. So we'll also take a look at, look at those here in the video. At the same here on the back, a lot of information, various languages. And you can see that then the, we have the proper QR code there, but for some reason there's a sticker on top of that on the charger. I did get the, these on Amazon, so I'm pretty sure these are genuine products. But anyways, let's just get into the charger first. It is sealed, so there's a little bit of tape on the top here. Let's just cut through that on both sides here. And inside we of course find the charger and we also have a USB Type-C cable and that's all we get in the box. So the USB Type-C cable is a pretty uh, generic one, so not anything special. Plastic plugs and a one meter cable, so not really the longest cable either, but it's definitely nice that it's included. And you can see here on the cable, it does support a 100 watt charging or up to 100 watt, but I believe it's just standard USB 2.0, so shouldn't really be used for data transfers. And it does also have a little bit of a zip tie here, so you can, of course, organize it and keep it nicely and neatly together, like so. So I'll probably just throw this in my bag to keep it for, for traveling. Nice to have. And then, of course, we do have the charger itself here. It's a very small and compact charger. Very dense charger, so definitely have some weight to it. And also a little piece of plastic protecting there. Let's just remove that, just like so. But yeah, you definitely feel it's a very dense charger. And let's just start by throwing it on the scale and see how much we're actually dealing with here. So 245 grams or 245.6 grams or so close to 250 grams for the charger with of course the built-in cable. If you add the USB Type-C cable that's included as well, we're up to a 270 grams of total weight. So it is still pretty lightweight and it does have a very long built-in cable. I believe it's one and a half meters or uh, just around that. And like I said, this is the European version. So we have the European plug. You can of course also get this with the US plug. I believe maybe also other regions of the world. Of course, I will link to some down in the description below if you are interested in getting one of these. And the cable is unfortunately not removable, which is a little bit unfortunate. Would have been nice to be able to just remove it if you wanted to use a shorter or a longer cable included with this one, or maybe even just a little plug that you could plug into this one. So you had the plug sticking out from the charger itself. But then again, Bezos is selling other kinds of chargers. If you want to have the plug like built into the charger itself and don't have any cables, you can just go and get one of those. A little bit of branding here on the side. So of course, 65 watt is a scan, but it's, it's the Gain 3 Pro. A little bit of a high gloss plastic there on the end will just get scratched up uh, very easily. Bezos branding on the other side there. And of course, on the bottom here, you can see all of the specifications. So there is quite a lot of things to take note of. Like I said, you cannot charge all devices at 65 watt each device at the same time. Of course, it's 65 watts split off between all of these plugs here. 
So there is a USB Type-C 1 and USB Type-C 2. If you only have one device connected to either one of these two, it will charge them at full 65 watt. But if you use both of them at the same time, so for instance, you have a tablet or a computer to Type-C 1 and your smartphone to Type-C 2, then it will only charge at 45 watt on the one and 20 watt on the USB-C 2. And that's pretty much the story with this one here. So I will recommend just using the USB Type-C 1 for charging your laptops all the time, because if you have more than two devices connected, then the USB Type-C 2 and the other plugs here will just go down in the total wattage. But of course, I can throw a little graph here on the screen so you can kind of see the layout of these ports there. Definitely do take a note of those. But all of this is kind of specified here. There's also a little blue LED there. I believe it's on always when you plug it in. And speaking of plugging it in, let's just actually do that right now. Nice long and very thick cable but still have some flex to it. So yeah, really like the cable quality. The charger is plugged in. I don't know if you can really see it there, but the little blue light is lighting constantly. I wish that it would only really be on if there was some devices charging, but still it could be kind of nice to see if there's actually power going to the, the charging brick here. And speaking of charging, let's just have a look at the cables that I also bought together with this charger just cut through the seal up here it's a little bit annoying like so and see what we actually get here the type of cables we get so a braided cable with a metal plug uh, actually quite nicely presented there and nothing else inside the box so two cables we also get a little bit of paperwork for this one so some chinese and some in english and this is just a warranty card let's remove that and actually kind of overlooked the piece of paperwork you get with the charger is kind of stuck in there so the charger also comes with some paperwork which is kind of handy and also a little bit of stickers there <laughs> if of course you want to throw these on your devices you can do so but let's just see if we actually get the little graph there of how the usb port is split in this included instructions no we don't get a graph, we just get the same text that is pretty much on the charger, I think. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but we pretty much just get the same text that you find on the charger itself. Uh, it would have been nice to see some kind of illustration of these ports split, or how the ports are split in the included instructions. So a little unfortunate they have not included that. But anyways, let's have a look at the cables here. So we do have a metal plug. Feels kind of nice. Also kind of long stem there, so shouldn't really put too much strain on the cables in here or on the, the connection there between the plug and the cable so i hope it will maintain a little bit longer so yeah, more durable this way i think but it also does stick out quite a bit from your device so could like drag it down a little bit i would kind of wish this part here was uh, maybe rubberized or flexible Bezos also make those kind of cables but unfortunately those were not really in stock at least on amazon as the time was of purchasing these but yeah two Two meter cables, 6.6 .6 feet, braided cables, a little bit stiff braiding, but anyways, let's just open it up and let's actually try and connect a, a tablet here to the charger. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. So this tablet does support 45 watt of fast charging, which of course the Bezos here should be able to deliver to the tablet. Let's plug it in and see, it does take a short second. And you can see up here, and of course this is in my native language, but it is connected to Quick Charging 2.0 and it will take me around 39 minutes to full, fully charge this battery and it's around 58% uh, right now. So that's definitely nice, does support the full fast charging. Let's try the S22 Ultra, another device also supporting the newer fast charging and let's actually connect this one to the second plug, charge two devices at the same time and see if we can get at least faster speed so this is connected to plug no, uh, 2 here should be able to give me 45 watts to my tablet and at the same time 20 watts to the phone here so let's just see what kind of speed we can expect it does take a short delay for it to connect and you can see it does charge with a cable but it doesn't fast charge and let's just see if the tablet here has actually changed. No, it is still fast charging at fast charge 2.0 speed. But of course the phone is not fast charging, just regular charging. Let's just remove the tablet here and see if it will automatically switch to fast charge here on the S22 Ultra. Ah, I have disabled fast charging, so that kind of makes sense. 
Uh, let's just run this test again. Of course, connecting the tablet here. It does fast charge 2.0. Let's connect the phone here to the USB type C or USB C 2 plug on the charger. And let's see if we can actually get some fast charging on both devices at the same time. And you can see, yeah, it does says fast charging now. So it's not fast charging 2.0, but it's fast charging at, I believe it's 15 watt that the, the S22 Ultra can fast charge. But of course, it should also be able to fast charge at 45 watt. Let's remove the tablet here, it's a power cable. And you can see right immediately, it does switch over to quick charge 2.0. So now the phone is charging at 45 watt. That's kind of nice. It will automatically switch, but like I said, the USB Type-C one plug here is the primary plug. So definitely connect the device that requires the highest wattage to that port, and you can kind of split it between the other ones when you have multiple devices connected. So I definitely like this charger. Probably get the 100 watt charger or version whenever it comes to Europe or it's available in the European region. So don't have to pay all kinds of import duties and so on. And these cables here feels kind of nice, but again, would probably have liked that the stem here would be flexible, so it wouldn't put that much strain on your devices, but it is a minor thing. And I will just mark the cables in the other end here, so I'll keep them connected like so, and maybe put a number one and number two here, so I can kind of distinguish between the two, so I know which one to, to connect to what device. But anyways, this was just a quick look at the Besus Gain 3 Pro 65 watt charger, as well as these cables here from the shoes as well. What's the called? The metal data cable, USB-C to C. Well, I believe it's not really data cable. I believe it's only for charging. So yeah, transfer rate 480 megabits per second. So it is USB 2.0 speed. So yeah, great for charging, not really that great for data transfers. Of course, link down in the description below if you're interested in any of these products I featured in this video. But else, that's pretty much all for this one. I hope to see you again in a future video. Until then, take care.